Hey there guys, welcome back to Hirsty Games and welcome to another player review. Now before anyone mentions it, yes, I do still have an incredibly sore throat. Uh, so I sound funny uh, and also if I keep coughing I apologise, but I'll try my best not to. But today's video we are doing a player review of the new Inform Luis Hernandez. Now this card looks incredible, 13,000 coins I picked him up for. I'm going to be sticking an anchor card onto him so that his pace, his defending and his physical all go up by around eight, it's six to eight, so you're looking at 84 pace, you're looking at 90 physical, I think it was, and you're looking at 86 or 87, uh, sorry, 86 or 87 physical and 90 defending, so <coughs> the card looks insane. I think he's gonna be like a cheap uh, Sergio Ramos, so that is what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping that he plays in a similar style to Ramos and that he gives Ramos a bit of a run for his money because I like Sergio Ramos, I think he's a fantastic card in this game and if he plays anything like Ramos does then we're for a street boys and I think this guy will be definitely somebody that you can look to pick up um, especially if you're doing a Santander team or you've got Spanish links in there so he fits straight into my team with Bellerin at right back to Hayer and goal and then obviously being surrounded by icons as well so the chemistry was there um, but without further ado it's a brand new thing never done a centre back review before but let's jump into it and see how he does. Okay, so as I said previously, never done a centre-back review before, so this is quite different for me. I did find this difficult to actually know the clips to get, but I did have a lot of fun with this card. I really did have a lot of fun with this card. I think it definitely plays very, very well. It definitely has its cons, which I will get to and we will discuss, but it plays very, very well. Now, 13,000 coins, worth it, 100% worth it. This card for 13k, <coughs> brilliant. Makes great tackles, makes them fairly well as well, so like 91% tackling uh, is his ratio um, of like tackles made and everything. So interceptions, were, uh, interceptions on that stat there where it says PG, it's per game, just to make that clear. So he averaged five interceptions per game, and I think it was seven or eight tackles per game, which is brilliant. That's really, really impressive. I'm very, very happy with that. Um, now, he was, I think, accountable for maybe two goals. So there were two goals that I think I would have blamed him for in the games that he played. Um, however, <coughs> probably stopped a lot more goals than he was at fault for. So, I think in general, uh, very, very good card, very, very good to use. He's got good pace. His passing was really good. His passing was through the roof. Obviously, passes, you don't have too much uh, to do in the defence, but sometimes when you need a clutch pass to get you out of a problem as a centre-back, um, sometimes you need that, and, and he did that very, very consistently. Again, very few times he actually made the mistake, but often as well with his tackles, or his pass he made were often what led to a goal. Um, <coughs> I think I've got three replays in this where you see he makes a tackle or a block or an interception or whatever and that ends up leading to a goal. So very, very helpful to have a, a player in the team that you can attack from the back, get that the ball rolling literally and heading up the pitch. Uh, he's very, very strong. Like I said, his physical went up to 86 or 87 roughly. Um, so he's going to be shrugging a lot of people off. The only times I found that a problem was <coughs> often when you were attacking a corner and you were coming up against other people because as you'll see in the cons, he is a little bit short for a centre back. So you come up against someone like Van Dijk uh, and he struggles a little bit to win the ball. Uh, but when you're coming up against some strikers and stuff, uh, there was one game where he came up against Prime Hernandez and Prime Crespo and in the air and in physicality, <coughs> he had them all day long didn't have a touch on him so he did really really well there. A few times he was a little bit inconsistent mainly with his positioning uh, so you know you're on the defence and your fullback maybe is a little bit out of position he would push there but sometimes it's you know if I'm not controlling him he'll still push whereas other defenders don't do that and they sit back when you see the other players going in for the ball so it, it was a little bit at times uh, that did happen but again that wasn't too often but it happened often enough that I'd have to mention it because I feel like it is not quite a trait, but it happened. Um, <coughs> however, what I was most impressed with, um, when he did get his positioning right, he did it really well because his interceptions were fantastic. Like he was making so many interceptions in these games, sort of last man passes and he's just getting there. <coughs> and he really did play very, very well. Um, so all, to, like, all in all, I would say if you have a team that this guy's going to fit into, I think he's worth it. I really do think he's worth it. 13,000 coins for a player that is a bit like a cheap Ramos. He's not as good as Ramos, I'm not going to claim that, but a bit of a cheap Ramos and I personally think 
he will work wonders for you. He's worked absolutely wonders for me in the short time I've managed to use him. So I highly recommend him to you guys as well. But that is the end of the review. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. Like I said, never done a centre back review before. Never had to review a centre back, which is a new one for me. Uh, but like I said, hopefully you have enjoyed it. If you have, then uh, please do leave a like on the video. Uh, comment down below as well if you try them out. Let me know what you think of them or players that you think are quite similar for either cheaper or a similar price range. <coughs> also, comment at Get Well Soon because this throat has got to go. Uh, I was planning on streaming on, th on Saturday and as long as I'm feeling a little bit better, I do plan on doing that still as well. But uh, also subscribe if you're new around here. We are so close to hitting 400 subs. It is crazy the growth of this channel. I was mentioning on Twitter for those of you who have seen it on there. It's crazy how quickly this is growing. But thank you to so much. So thank you so much to everyone. I'll get my words out eventually. Uh, but I will leave the video there and I'll leave you guys to the rest of your day. But for now, boys, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all very soon. Look after yourselves. See you later.